I will never forget this once. I was watching Bosch. If you've never watched Bosch, by the way, if you're a, a they've all fucking seen Bosch. Anyway, it's a show about a divorced guy who's a detective in L.A. who goes to cool bars and has nice food. If you are if you are married to a white man or you know a white man, just recommend that show and they'll show back up in like 20 minutes. I watched every episode. That guy fucking rule. He listens to jazz and now so do I. By the way, you know what I mean. <laughs> It'll be one of those shows where suddenly, like, you're, like, your boyfriend or your husband suddenly drinking a bunch of, like, Negronis or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, remember when Dead would come out and every fucking white dude suddenly into straight whiskey when it was like, I remember when you were having a Smirnoff ice, you fuck. Anyway. <laughs> fucking lies. So I always find that's weird when you, like, get an idea for a cocktail from a movie, you know what I mean? You're watching Sex in the City 2, and you're like, ooh, a Cosmopolitan. Yeah, you didn't think that was the reference I would reach for, but you know what? I like to keep you on your fucking toes. <laughs> And I liked how that, that was a new silence that you guys elicited. It wasn't angry and it wasn't tense. That was more confused. Like, really? An SATC2 fan? I wouldn't say fan, but I have seen it. Now, now if there's any more interruption like that, I will treat you all like Samantha and ask you to leave. Because she's not part of the new series. For fuck's sakes, do, you, do they not have newspapers in this town? Probably, you probably can't get to them because there's a rooster stood in front of the box. 